My intention is to give um, video messages to potential international partners mm -hmm. for an international network for organizational coaching. And this is why I want to describe what, from my perspective, organizational coaching is mm -hmm. and to give people the opportunity to check whether this is what they are uh, and where they are heading for. Mm -hmm. And then I will describe what the international network for organizational coaching should be and who in the first step will be invited mm -hmm. to join. So my one question could be what uh, special coaching direction is organizational coaching? Right, exactly. So um, coaching today we, we call it a container. There's, there are so many things in it, life coaching, uh, even in the direction of psychotherapy, it is uh, leadership coaching, meaning more kind of training people to learn a job, to learn a role. Uh, it is a problem or topic oriented coaching, even in the organizational field. I have a conflict with my boss. How can I deal with that? Or I do not feel satisfied with my job. Or I have problems in combining the traveling I have to do in my job. Uh, with my private life or I feel more and more depressed or burned out and I'm not clear what the reasons are for that and and have some kind of individual consulting or help for clarification um, for my individual perspective. And I do not call this organizational coaching. Uh, it is coaching individuals, maybe in the organizational field and in relation to organizational questions, but it is not organizational coaching. And in my definition, organizational coaching is not so much a setting one-to-one -one or working with teams. Uh, and it's not so much a question of method, whether uh, we have a dialogue or whether we do um, playing the situation in a role play. It's not a question of, of methods, whether it's organizational coaching or not, for me has to do with the perspectives that are involved. And for me, organizational coaching um, needs for f from the side of the coach that the coach has an understanding what the organization for what the service in the end should help is about, how it works, what are all the responsibilities in the system, not maybe in the foreground, but as a background. And when I do organizational coaching, uh, I work with individuals or I work with teams or uh, parts of the company, but with a map in my mind uh, that is including uh, the whole issues an organization has to deal with in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. So, the organizational coach is one who has a set of maps uh, that draw an adequate picture of the organization and the reason of being for that organization. Mm -hmm. And if you have this kind of map, and it must not be a specific school of maps, mm -hmm. It means it, it's a holistic focus that 
understands organizations and contexts in which people really work in and um, yeah mm -hmm. this is organizational coaching so um, what will be the direction and the benefits to be part of this uh, international network or to help to build up this international network ah, I, I will go to this uh, question in a minute okay. I, I'm not yet I'm not totally finished with okay. the question what is organizational coaching mm -hmm. Uh, for wh why is this, is it not just any organizational work? Mm -hmm. Why is it organizational coaching? Mm -hmm. And for me, coaching is a perspective. This means working with people, not with numbers, not with structures only, not with processes only. Working with people who are responsible, uh, who live their lives within organizations and who run the organization. And coaching means a culture of dialogue, helping these people um, to fill their responsibilities in order to run the life of an organization. And it is coaching when you use coaching culture and when you use coaching procedures and dialogues to help these people uh, to successfully uh, play their roles in an organizational play. And th that's the difference that you always ask yourself, what is the play they have to play their role in? And coaching is helping them to clarify amongst each other what these roles are in the way a coaching dialogue culture uh, is um, usually helpful. I give you an example. Uh, you can do organizational development uh, with uh, methods that are usually called coaching. For example, you help uh, the bosses of an organization to define what kind of organizational change they want to have. And in clarification between each other, you can help them with methods we also use in coaching. And so say you, you have somebody who is responsible, an re, uh, internal responsible system for this uh, change they are heading for. And then they can think about who could play roles in this change play. And then you can, for example, uh, offer to these potential people who could take a role in this play to have with each five sessions of coaching, but not sessions focused on whatever they are interested in, but really to help them to clarify whether they want to take that role or not, whether this is, they can combine it with their lifestyle, whether it meets their competencies, whether they are confident that they can learn what has to be learned to really play this role, They can think about um, what this means in terms of career mm -hmm. and what kind of roles they have to leave in order to change into that, what the interplays with their professional career this could mean, what the interplay could be with their private life, mm -hmm. because maybe they have to change towns or they have to change uh, travel fre frequency or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a coaching from the setting. When you look at the two people, for example, who talk to each other, it's a coaching session, but it's not coaching in the way the client comes with, with any issue. It's a specified coaching in order to clarify what roles they can play in an organizational development uh, process and how they could find out with those who are responsible, whether the matching is good and whether they come to a good deal to be hired for that role. And this is coaching, but it's not individual, uh, only individually oriented, but it's oriented to an individual to clarify matching with organizational questions. And for that you need 
the coach needs to understand what the possible organizational development could be. And maybe on, on the side of the provider company, uh, they should be in good relationship with those who do the consulting on the coach organization coaching for the uh, for the bosses and the responsible people for the organizational development and they should be in good contact with those coaches who work individually with the people who are checking whether they could play a role in that process or not mm -hmm. and then it's uh, organizational development or organizational learning through the means and within the culture of coaching. And this is for me organizational coaching. And back to your question, uh, uh, I'm now, we have an organization here, the uh, ESB, ISB, uh, Institute for Systemic Consulting. And we have a lot of concepts and we train professionals in organizational coaching and we are really on the side of being organizationally oriented and in addition we are systemic oriented. And I tried to find partners in other countries uh, who are really, uh, who also want to do coaching in organizations and the problem is most of them uh, do coaching with people in organizations but not organizational coaching. They do individual coaching of any kind but in the field of organization and this is different as I explained already. But I'm interested really to find people who are in, already in real organizational coaching or are on their way to develop an identity as an organizational coach and I am interested in people who do not want only to reach that for themselves as uh, freelancers and as individual professionals. I am looking for people um, in this first step of building up an international network uh, who have the talents and have the urge and are in, in a phase in their career. Uh, they want to be entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. building up a company around themselves, uh, really to build up services in organizational coaching. And I'm willing to give the, our DNA of a company really to serve in the field of organizational coaching to any entrepreneur in other countries who is interested to learn from our system. I'm not interested that these people only copy us. I'm interested to have them, to give them a model and dialogue with them what they want to take from that model and how they can use it in their context, in their country to build up something. This is on the level of building up a company for organizational coaching, maybe building up training groups for others in organizational coaching, developing products, understandings of organizational coaching in their country as, a, as their own business. In addition to that, I'm interested to uh, have people who are also interested not only to have that for themselves as a company but also to connect with others in their countries to build up an association and we have really a lack of real organizational coaching associations in the world we have some international coaching associations but they have all kind of coachings in their roles and the problem is that usually those people who more do individual coaching and not really organizational coaching dominate the standards. Mm -hmm. And it's difficult to build up a network from 
uh, only on the organizational coaching level. Mm -hmm. uh, we have international coaching organizations, mm -hmm. but um, they are not dominantly oriented to organizational coaching. They are big containers for all kinds of coachings. And we built up in Germany a coaching association, the German uh, Association for Organizational Coaching, Deutscher Bundesverband Coaching, DBVC. Uh, and this association developed since 10 years uh, standards for really doing organizational coaching and and we have uh, membership standards only to accept members who are really organizationally oriented and uh, have standards that are good for organizational coaching. And for our association on the German federal level, it's difficult to find association partners in other countries uh, that are also oriented in that way. And this is why we had the idea from, the, from my association uh, to invite protagonists in other countries to learn from us beside how to build up uh, competence in organization coaching, beside how to build up competence in being an entrepreneur in the field of organizational coaching, also to build up an association for organizational coaching and play a major role as a person and as a company in their country and then have a network over many countries for exchange. I'm not thinking of any kind of franchising. It's not a question of money. Uh, each association in each country should have uh, its own culture and responsibility, there should not be a formal structure. Mm -hmm. I only want to build up a network for exchange in order to spread a solid understanding of organizational coaching over the world and join the richness of the developments in several countries. And for this, uh, I'm inviting in the first step people who are interested to be clearly an organizational coach or are already an organizational coach and are specifically interested in building more systemic competence, building up more systemic competence in that field. I'm interested uh, to invite those who have the talent and the urge to be an entrepreneur in that field and at the same time at least open and maybe engage somehow in building up a national organization for organizational coaching. Mm -hmm. And I want to invite these people to Germany as a first meeting and I offer them a three-day training in our competence of organizational coaching, in our way to be an entrepreneur in that field and give them all help they need and my association represented by me and others is also uh, available to give them all information uh, they could need to build up an association, a national association for organizational coaching mm -hmm. so that we, they can be partners uh, for each other and for us in an international network, international network for organizational coaching. And this is without any fee. Uh, the exchange is giving all our knowledge for free uh, and receiving engagement, mm -hmm. real engagement. And those who feel or have the sense, I am that person, I hope they will uh, write an email to me and say that and then we get into contact and find out whether uh, we fit to each other and I will 
invite a group of those people from all over the world to Heidelberg and they only have to pay their travel expenses, everything else is free.